What's going on everybody? Jem in here at San Diego Comic Con 2022 and we're here at the Iron Studios booth with Alexander. Yeah, hello guys. How is everyone? We're going to do a tour of the Iron Studios booth. We're going to get into detail and hopefully Thanos doesn't chop us on the way there. So let's jump into it. Before we get into the tour, Iron Studios has been doing daily giveaways and you could actually enter from home as well. Today we got Batman from The Dark Knight Returns. For you guys at home, you can win one of those. It's a one-time scale, but it's the Joker Dark Knight. So that's an awesome one. But how can they enter from home? Actually, go to stcc.ironstudios.com, register your name, your email, and you'll have a chance to win one of, one of those. All right, guys, we're going to start with one of my favorite franchises, Mortal Kombat. I've been a diehard Mortal Kombat fan since MK1 back MK2. in the day. Yeah. <laughs> and we got a brand new reveal. First, we got to look at Sub-Zero. I actually have him. I still need to do a video for it. Scorpion just shipped from Sideshow like yesterday. Yeah, that's it. We got Sonya, which was a recent reveal. But from Mortal Kombat 2, the Tarkatan, Baraka. Baraka, which is an awesome one with all of the blades in his hands and his arms. You know, it's a really awesome one. Actually, we do have in Sonya Blade as well uh, an Easter egg. We put the names of the creators in there, in the tombs. So that's a oh, nice I feature. Love that. Yeah, oh, yeah, because you have Dan, uh, Dan Forden, uh, yeah. John Vogel. Yeah. It was only four people who created Mortal Kombat 1. Yeah, that's and it. And Ed Boone and John Tobias were the other two, right? They were so. like sound designers and these guys that, you know, make everything happen. So it's really great. Can I put you on the spot? Is there anything Mortal Kombat in the horizon that you can share? Might be, might be. You, you guys be aware about it you know like so maybe it's for a heads up you can expect at least one more or two let's see so we, we got Mortal Kombat 2 it's the first Mortal Kombat 2 character yeah that's it so that's I like it. how that's my favorite game yeah to, to me as well you know like it, it is one of my favorites yeah so Absolutely. Mortal Kombat then we're gonna move on and we have the Lord of the Rings we have the Gandalf which we just recently discussed during a live stream exactly yeah that's one that you know like it's a final piece for the Battle of Moria diorama so we're announcing it in here. We're going to be releasing maybe next month. So yeah, that's it. Keep on the lookout for that. Definitely, yeah. So <laughs> everything is one tenth scale, but we have this quarter scale Voldemort yeah. from Harry Potter. What can you tell us about this piece? Yeah, that's an awesome one. You know, like you have all the movements, you have Nagini all around him. You have this action pose, he's holding his, his uh, wand in there. So, and he's really angry. So you can see in the, by the expression. There's a lot of, you know, like details in the base, in the clothes, and painting's awesome, you know? Yeah, the scales on the snake. Now, I'm more of a comic fan, you guys know. Yeah. Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, not my strong suit, but I need to know more about this piece. Harry Potter on the eagle. Yeah, he's on the, at Book, Buck Big, so he's flying, you know, like the classic scene where he's flying, you know, like all over Hogwarts. You can see in the base in there, there's some water, so Buck Big's just touching the water and oh yeah the translucent that's yeah how, that's it it almost reminds me of the never ending story where he's like yeah and then we have the mini co yeah. harry potter line this yeah. is new yeah this is a new one so we're just you know like giving a fresh look to all of our mini co lines these are the first ones that we released with this with this fresh look so you have like Hermione with uh, po uh, doing her body juice. It's so small, but you have a lot of detail yeah, with that, right? Yeah, Ron is like spilling a slug, you know, like the classic scene of the broken wand. And of course, Harry Potter holding the sword, so the sword of Gryffindor. Yeah, that's yeah. great stuff. Moving on, we have some DC comic stuff, so I'm a little bit more well-versed. We yeah. have from Aquaman, is this from Aquaman 2? That's it, yeah, Aquaman right. and Mera from Aquaman 2, yeah, so. Then the Batman. Batman, Batman Returns. That's that, that's the one. Now, I already showed my age with the Mortal Kombat stuff. Batman animated series, that's like my Batman. Yeah. Growing up as a kid, yeah. to not only see the Joker and Harley, which that's where she first appeared. Yeah. Then we have the Batman with the huge 110 scale Batmobile. Batmobile. So when you think 110 scale, sometimes you think, oh, it's a small thing. Yeah. But as we'll see further on down the line, <laughs> These 110 scale vehicles are massive, and this one's no exception. That's that's it, yeah. Actually, when you put some vehicles in there, you, know, you put some big stuff, you know, like on a 110 scale, you can see they are huge, you know, like, yeah. so, yeah. Awesome. Moving down, we have some new pieces. So we have Batman on the Bat Signal, which was revealed just now. Yeah, that's it. These, these, these two are new announcements that we're doing here, Batman and Bat Signal. I've heard that people are asking for a bigger scale, but this one is really nice. You know? like, no, I mean, it's chock full of detail like you guys do so well with the 110 scale. So with that being said, have you ever considered taking one of your 110 scale pieces and making it quarter scale? Yeah, actually we did something like that with like Luke Skywalker and oh, R2-D2. Okay. So we do have some, some, every now and then we do like this, you know, like a quarter scale and another 110. So, you know, like fans can have an option 
uh, regarding the space and everything so yeah so it's it. not a guarantee but there's always hope might be yeah <laughs> uh, i do want to highlight black adam from the new movie we have dwayne johnson the rock so we have that's a new review yeah that's it and we do have like a, a really a, a really cool likeness in there in there so dwayne yeah. johnson is really awesome in this one all right, keeping it moving. So we have another new reveal, this Superman yeah. one six scale yeah, diorama with Lois scale. Lane. Yeah, that's it. And we do have a lot of details in this one, you know, like Lois Lane almost floating in the air, you know, like hugging Superman. Her shoes almost falling from her feet, you know, like the classic scene. I love that this detail. Kind of yeah, that's really cool. You have the buildings inside. Uh, Metropolis. Yeah, yeah, Metropolis. So that's a really nice one, yeah. And his look, and he's looking in her eyes. It's a really yeah. ex detailed expression. Exactly. Not to overuse that word, but I mean. Yeah, that's it, that's it. I'm moving down, I love the Superboy. I mean, this is also my era growing up, Death of Superman, Reign of the Superman. I love the Superboy. I would love to see the rest. Yeah. Steel, Eradicator, uh, and uh, Cyborg Superman, of course. Which yeah. I think, did you, have you done any of those? No, actually we did Cyborg on a medical version, we okay. did a few others, you know, okay. like, but for this line we do have like Superboy, we have a few of those as well, but maybe, you know, like the guys are listening right now, so who knows. So, Reign of the Superman, the four new Superman after uh, Clark passed away That's from Doomsday. <laughs> Alright guys, I don't want to make it sound like I, I love every line, but yeah. TMNT, if you know me, you know I love Teenage Mutant yeah. Ninja Turtles, and we have exclusives all red bandanas paying homage to the original comic book series yeah that's kind of i'm a comic book guy so yeah. that's what i gravitate towards now is this the first time that we've seen the all red headband yeah with the red bands that's the first time actually we did release all of them with the the full colors and all like the, the cartoon well, i've and seen all that stuff, right yeah. but you know like we're comic book friends as well so we you know like we couldn't leave these behind and just forget about it. So we did a, uh, an exclusive, a special edition, you know, like so with all of them with the red bandanas. So it's really awesome. Right here. We saw Casey Jones was a, a recent reveal. That's it. But V, yeah. uh, I think you really appreciate April O'Neil along with Shredder. Shredder, yeah. Okay, so yeah, we're announcing these two, you know, like it's the first time we're releasing, you know, like so the public can see. Right. We're doing a, a full collection with, you know, like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and this kind of stuff. So yeah, that's, that's you know, like something. And you can expect more, you know, like that's what I was the end ask. of the year. Yeah. And so how far does Iron Studios plan to go with the line? Are yeah. they, are you interested in? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we have a few things in development right now. I cannot say what. But maybe for the next month, you're going, you're, we are going to be announcing other uh, characters. I'm going to be yeah. on the lookout for that. I don't think yeah. any statue company has done April O'Neil. No, I, I, I don't. Actually, I don't remember that. <laughs> Our cameraman agrees. And also, if you like that more uh, artistic, stylistic look, they have the mini co series as well, which look awesome. Yeah, that, that's a great line. We do have like you know, like as we were discussing about this. Uh, it, it, you know, like it has a price point that's affordable for anyone. You know, like, and the, you know, the scale it allows for anyone to have on, a, you know, like on an office or on a t at a table or something like that. And it's they're really cute. So it's you know, like really nice yeah. statue, really nice piece. Yeah, I think it goes without saying. You guys are definitely catering to an audience that maybe space is an issue. Maybe they don't want to spend fifteen hundred dollars on a piece. That's so it. it's a, a good price point. A nice space saver and you guys can expand on the line and, and, yeah yeah the only thing that is good to talk about you know like even though this is a small statue or something like this it is full of details you know like you do have in the base you can see you know like all of the stuff the the, the concrete the sewer the, robots, grade, the sewer yeah the skate on michelangelo so yeah the mouser for Raphael, which he is a big oh, fan of is, yeah. another lion that i'm a huge fan of masters of the universe and we have a bunch of new reveals it seems here right because yeah. i don't think i've seen this skeletor a skeletor yeah that actually was it did release yeah it released in the past but we got evelyn man of man at evelyn arms was announced man at arms is on as a is a new one we're announcing in here we talked about Stratos, yeah, yeah, in our show he looks great man but we do have ram man as well so as a new announcement Sorcerer's back there. She's really pretty. She's really cute. Got and Hordak. Hordak. Actually, Hordak has an interchangeable arm that you can choose from the hand or, or the cannon, for example. Nice. But we're announcing the man himself. So, he man. So, this is almost like a little diorama in front of Castle Grayskull with the sword in the air. That's, That's it. Actually, we do have like two versions. This is a deluxe version with the Great Skull Castle back there. But we do have a regular one without the castle. But there's one thing, one feature that's really neat about this is that we have two torsos. 
So you can choose from, you know, like this pose, the, the, the powers of the rose pose, have, pose or the pose where he's summoning, you know, like when he's holding the sword, looking at the sword before, yes. you know, like rising the sword. And I love the deluxe edition where you can have a simpler base or you can go more elaborate. Yeah, and you have been doing that for a while. Yeah, now. for a while, yeah. We, 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 you know, like we try to create the, the most complex and most creative statues. But we know that maybe sometimes it makes more expensive or, you know, like it, has, it right. needs more space. So we do release, you know, regular versions. So, you know, like people can have them as well. But you so. give a lot of options to different types of collectors. Exactly. But that's another one. Like Beast, Beast Man. Man that we're announcing today. You can see like all of the movements in the whip and his expression. So it's really nice. Awesome. Moving on. So Peaky Blinders, I'm not too familiar with. Yeah, it's a great show, man. You should see the series. It's really great and we're announcing like another one we did release Thomas Shelby which were it was great and all the fans really liked it but now we're announcing his brother so Arthur so it's it's a nice it's a nice show and you know like the fans are liking it so that's great now Universal Monsters is a classic franchise and I see you guys yeah, have yeah. started with this line with Dracula with uh, Wolfman, yeah, Wolfman, Dracula, and the Mummy. mummy. And yeah. the Mummy also has one of those type of deluxe elaborate. That's it. We do have like this deluxe version and the regular one, which is just a coffin. And so, yeah, that's it. And for, for all of them, we do have like these regular and deluxe versions. So, for example, for Wolfman, you have this base with all of the Thompsons. The regular version, he only has, you know, like the grass beneath him. So, yeah, we kind of do all of these options so we can offer to the public. A couple other figures, so you have a, a Minico Hellboy, yeah, awesome to see awesome. representation yeah. for Hellboy. Yeah. Uh, and then we have this ET with the huge moon background, which does illuminate. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it has some light in there, so you can you just illuminate. And it, it, it's really nice because you can see only the shadow as in the classic scene, you know. Like, so awesome. That's wow. I love it. to recreate a scene. I'm always a fan of that. Yeah, that's it. That's uh, it. We have uh, this Chucky. Play, yeah. yeah. And then... Again, talk about 110 scale pieces not always being small. That's it. We have this amazing Jaws diorama. Is this 110 scale? Yeah, it oh. is. Yeah. This thing is huge. You have the detail on the water, which is amazing. Exactly. I love how you see it breaking with the white on the top, but you got the translucency underneath. Yeah. And Jaws, I was telling him earlier, scared the hell out of me as a kid. And yeah, then going onto the ride at Universal <laughs> Studios, forget about it. And there's a lot of things going on in here, you know, like yeah. it, it is a full diorama in itself. So you have the guys in there trying to escape the shark. Yeah. You have all, all of the details in the boat. And the water, you know, like the water movements is really nice, you know, so... And it has a nice classy, like, sub uh, base with the sleek black and you have the it. Jaws nameplate. Like a frame, right? So It's, it's like a frame, like, yeah. it does look like that. Yeah. And you guys are killing it with the licenses. Here we have a 110 scale Shrek. Yeah. Is this the first of more to come? Yeah, definitely, yeah. You know, like, everyone loves Shrek and all of the characters, so definitely, you know, like, we have more to come. But this is the first one we went through like, with this one with like Donkey and the Gingerbread Man. So he yeah. is huge. Yeah, it is. It is. It's really nice. We have many details in the base as well. You know, like many the grass materials. Grass is really that. fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. That, that's a lot in there. So we're really proud of this one as well. Can we talk about my favorite reveal from you guys? Please. Before we continue, I want to thank that Spider-Man booth for sponsoring this video. Make sure you're following them over on Whatnot for daily live comic book auctions. You could win CGC key issues and get some great exclusive variants from their sister site, Street Level Hero. If you haven't, you can download Whatnot in the link in the description. It'll actually give you a $10 credit that you can use towards your first purchase. I did not see this coming whatsoever. Yeah. Now, you guys have surprised me with a lot of your mutant reveals. You're doing yeah. stuff that nobody's done. You've done Pyro. I mean, forget about it. The list goes on and on. Sauron, yeah. which is awesome that is now a worldwide release because yeah. it was a, an exclusive. An exclusive, yeah. That's it. We have the Age of Apocalypse diorama set with a huge 110 scale apocalypse. You know, his height can grow throughout comics, and yeah. he is massive in this yeah. storyline, this alternate future. But what's most impressive to me, besides the size of Apocalypse, are the characters that you guys have with him. So we have Age of Apocalypse Bishop. Yeah, that's it. We've got Storm. Storm. And again, we discussed this on our live stream behind the scenes, the elaborate dynamic poses that you guys are experimenting with and just yeah. getting better and better. Yeah. Uh, Rogue in the background. I, I think this is my favorite version of Colossus. Big boy Colossus, right? <laughs> Weapon X Wolverine with a missing hand that Cyclops yeah. blasted off. Yeah. Uh, and of course, Age of Apocalypse Magneto with that 
awesome energy base. Yeah. Is that a deluxe as well, or is there is that the only version? This is a diorama. Actually, after we finished all of the Sentinels, uh, we went with, with you know like, I, an idea for another diorama, and that's the one. You know, like we do have like Apocalypse with all of the sides and everything, and all of the characters. And one thing about Magneto is that we have two two heads as well, so we right. can choose from him to use him with or without the helmet. And it has a long hair. That's it. That's you got to show that hair. Yeah, that's what about, I was about to mention. Now, I know you guys wanted another type of diorama series since this X-Men vs. Sentinels, which I'm that's a it. huge fan of. It's yeah. the centerpiece of my collection. Yeah. This is the, the diorama I didn't know I needed. Yeah, I, I did I mean, not see you guys coming out with this. I really am campaigning for the Galactus diorama. Yeah, Hopefully you guys can pull that off. <laughs> we will. Uh, but this one is amazing. Awesome reveal. Yeah, and, that's uh, awesome one. Let's keep uh, our moving here. So keeping with the X-Men theme, we have an entire Minico line here. Yeah. Now, I'm not a Minico collector, yeah. but this one is speaking to me a little bit more. Yeah, man, you should get them because they're really nice. You know, even though they are the cutest figures and this kind of stuff, and we, we do like action and, and this, you know. And realism and stuff, you do yeah. it so well, yeah. But you know, like you have so much, you know, like personality in this one. For example, Beast is reading and taking a mug of, of coffee. Right. And you have Psylocke in there. So, yeah, There's a uh, lot, you know, like in all of these small statues, you know, it makes really great. You guys do a great job of kind of showing what the character is all about. Like yeah. that, it, is, it personifies Beast. Yeah. And with so many other characters, you have Professor X using his uh, telepathy, yeah. uh, Cyclops, Storm. I like the Sentinel base here for Jean Grey. Well, and even though it's not in here, we do have also Nightcrawler, you know, like he's just appearing out of his... The BAM? Yeah, the, the yeah. BAM. We do have, you know, like the ward in there. Okay. So it's really nice, yeah. On to some more MCU, we have Black Panther. Is this from Wakanda Forever? It is, yeah, definitely. Both of them, you know, like we have the one time version and we have the Minico version. It is for Wakanda Forever and the base illuminates as well. We do have some light in there. Very cool. So it's really nice. Yeah. You got Winter Soldier Winter from Soldier. Infinity Saga. That's it, yeah. Moving down, we have recreating That's one of the most iconic scenes. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, yeah. For, from the first movie of the Avengers, we do have like the Battle of New York, all of the... When the, when the Avengers assemble for the first time, so you have like all of them, you know, like you can put 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 them, you know, like facing each other or right. as in the scene, you know, like facing forward. And so it's really awesome. I love, again, love recreating scenes, but what about recreating memes? So that's what we got going on here. The classic Spider-Man pointing, the 60s Spider-Man with no yeah. webbing on the arm. Yeah. Now you said that uh, you can, you know, get three of them if you want. Actually, and make it is the very same one. So it's just one in year we are announcing to celebrate Spider-Man 60th. And actually, it's the same. So you can get like two, three, maybe four. Who knows? So whoever's in charge of marketing did a great job because now they'll make us buy three of the same. Of statue. the same, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Awesome. You got you got to recreate the meme. They even did it in the movie for us. So that's it. That's a fun one. All right, guys, on to some more MCU movie pieces we have from Doctor Strange. Uh, we actually discussed this during the live stream as well. Yeah, yeah actually, these are from uh, Multiverse of Madness. We released like Stephen Strange. We already released this one, this Minico as well. But now we're announcing Wong in there. So I yeah. think you teased Wong on the stream. Yeah, as well. we talked about and it. We, right? And how he's become such a fan favorite character. Yeah, no, no, that's it. Let's talk about Scarlet Witch as well. Beautiful. Because, the yeah. base and the translucency and how it's holding the book up for her. It's a beautiful piece. That's definitely one of my favorites. You know, like it is a one time. She's floating in the air. I do love this one. From Thor Love and Thunder, we have Jane Foster Thor and we have Thor with the updated movie costume. But what is most impressive to me. This Falcon piece is amazing. Yeah, yeah. So this is from the Falcon and Winter Soldier when he yeah. dons the Captain America uniform. Yeah. But the wingspan on this is so impressive. And then the water base. Definitely, yeah. He's just floating above water. You have the movement, kind of like the same water we saw in Jaws, for Similar example. Similar to Jaws. Yeah. So we do have like this translucent material, all of the movements. And what I do like in, in these statues is that he's flying and you have this impression, you know, like all of, all of these is, you know, like, supported by the wings mm. so it's really nice yeah the movement is amazing the way that the wings swoop around and again just embodying the character in one yeah. statue so cool yeah and just just to mention you know like we're talking about thor love and thunder we do have them on a minico version as well so we have like thor and mighty thor so yeah that's really nice another series that we've talked about on our live stream was the what if yeah. so we have a doctor strange the watcher which we discussed which looks awesome and then the ultron 
final boss form, I guess, if you want to call it. Yeah, them. for those that, that watch it, us, you know, like these these were the, the ones that we we're talking about. And okay. anyone here at SDCC can see, you know, like in person. So oh, yeah. that's really nice. The, the, the complimentary bases. It's an awesome line. The watcher, yeah. we don't get in statue form that's ever. It. Yeah. Uh, and then we're going to end it here with another Spider-Man uh, No Way Home, but really, it could be for people who are fans of the Tobey Wire, Spider-Man, the Andrew Garfield. Andrew Garfield you could yeah. buy one at a time or you could pair all three. Yeah. I think it's so awesome to see Sam Raimi's Spider-Man yeah. in, uh, in 110 scale. Here. Yeah, we did like the three versions, like Peter 1, Peter 2, and Peter 3. <laughs> so yeah, we have them. They are the most best-selling Spider-Mans we have, so it's really awesome, you know, for the fans and everything. Yeah. They have these dynamic poses, all oh, the yeah. paintings, you know, like, it's really nice. I love how different they look. I mean, you really can tell. You can see from the painting and right. from details, yeah, that's it. And then at the end of this line, you have Green Goblin from Spider-Man No Way Home, the new and improved Green yeah, Goblin. Yeah, and actually, it has an interchangeable head as well, so you can ch choose from the helmet one, but you can change for, you know, like, William Defoe's face, with the hood, the classic hood. So. That was a big deal. He kind of got away from that mask, which was almost like for people who didn't like that costume. Yeah, design. I was one of those, you know, like I'm a classic, you know, like I used to read the comics. I was really bothered, you know. But like, his mask the... never really made sense in the comics anyway. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a rubber mask or something. But his teeth were still there? I don't know. But it was go Green Goblin, you know, so. Green Goblin. <laughs> the more I really think about the licenses that you guys have, it's like you're really speaking to my childhood, man. Power Rangers, we have seen this before. I'm not sure if it had the White Ranger and the Green Ranger when I saw that Sideshow Con. Yeah, I think so. I think we had all of those, you know, like they were planned, you know, from the beginning, because you can okay. see by the base. It had to be, okay, so they yeah. were all there, but we're seeing it again. Yeah. Sword on in the back. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, we have all, uh, you know, like the full sets in here, all of the Power Rangers, Zordon in back there. So yeah, Zordon has a really nice effect. I love how you guys are working with POW Entertainment, giving us Stanley collectibles. I own the Deluxe from, I, I guess it's the first one you guys put out. Oh, that's great. But we not only have a 110 scale, we have a mini coat and a quarter scale Stan Lee. That's it. We're announcing these two and the man himself, you know, like, it's awesome. Very tempted on this quarter scale stand. So we have a lot of exclusives here. First of all, we have Scarecrow from DC Comics. Yeah. Uh, another kind of character that you don't see too many statues of. That's true. And then Martian Manhunter, who you don't really see any. Yeah, anywhere, you know, like, we're really proud of this, you know, like, there's great statues in here. Martian Manhunter, but we do have like Professor Xavier, which is one of my favorites. These this version, you know, like, from the movie. Because yeah, it is, and you have like this, you know, stylized design every now and here and there. So I really like that. Yeah. Yeah, he's on this uh, like cerebral base, and it has a lot of destruction. That's it. I own the uh, X Men vs Sentinel diorama version where he's in the '90s yellow chair, but that's this is it. more of that movie look. So yeah, that's it. Uh, we have Yondu here with a little baby Groot. Yeah, uh, and this is a SDCC 2022 exclusive. exclusive where people were able to pick up here. That's it, yeah. We, Black we have available here. So anyone around, just come and get yours because we're almost sold out. <laughs> Make sure you get it. Again, the licenses are never ending. Wizard of Oz, this is going to cater to so much more than people who just collect comic book statues. I mean, exactly. you're going to have people that have been fans of this for decades wanting to have this display. Exactly, yeah. One thing that I do like about this, you know, like, we, we keep talking about heroes, superheroes, the movies and this kind of stuff, but this is one of the classics. So yeah. even, you know, children, they will love this. So we do have a lot of details in the bases. We have a deluxe version and a regular version. So maybe if you don't like all of the details, who doesn't? Who doesn't want the Emerald City behind? Yeah, right? but you can have a regular one. So that's it. That's really nice. All right, guys, we're getting towards the end of the line. Another classic movie with Back to the Future. So we have Marty from Back to the Future 2. We got the Mini Co line. And remember I told you about the 110 scale vehicles? The DeLorean is crazy. Not only the size, but the detail. Yeah, have a look at that. You know, like all of the de details, the wires, all of the, you know, the mechanics. It is huge, as we are talking about, you know, even though it is a one tenth, you know, it's really big and heavy as well. One of the most complex statues that we had to develop, you know, so it's really nice. And we do have like Marty and Doc, they are sold separately. So if you want to have just one of those, right. you can have as well. So it's really nice. But it kind of connects into that base it as well. Is, yeah, right? it does, it does. It is a diorama, but you can have, you know, like individually, so. You guys are all about the options. That's it, that's it. And then we're gonna end it with another franchise that I love, Jurassic Park. And we have a couple of uh, different movies here. We have from The Lost World. We have uh, Nedry here with the Dilophosaurus, one of those iconic classic scenes. classic scene, yeah. Spitting in his face. Made us, made us all scary, you know, like about dinosaurs and this kind of 
myself. That was one of the most scariest scenes. I was scared, like you know, like at all, a lot. So yeah. it was amazing. Yeah. Uh, I love the uh, brontosaurus. It's like the classic scene where you see it going and getting the the trees. We did release one of those in the past. It was a uh, one twenty, one twenty uh, huge scale. So it was huge. Now we're releasing a little bit, a little bit smaller. Of course, you got the classic velociraptors, classic T Rex, and, that's it. Uh, and then we have from the more recent movies. We have Blue. Love this diorama with the flipped over truck. Yeah, and you can see all of the destruction after you know, all of the events on Jurassic Park, and you have Blue, blue in there. So. Yeah, it shows a lot in the diorama, and you can see right right here it's blue and beta on two versions as well. So that's that's. It's almost like a mini. Is this a mini coat? It, it is a mini coat and a one tank. Who would have thought yeah. dinosaurs as a mini coat? Yeah, that's it. Alexander, thank you so much thank for you. taking us through this tour. It actually ended up being a lot longer than I thought it was going to exactly, be. Yeah. So many great pieces. Guys, make sure to go to ironstudios.com to pre-order any pieces and are there kind of some rewards? Yeah, we do have like throughout all of SCCC, we're going to have double rewards points that never expire. So you can grab, you know, like any products in, products in there and it will be great. Actually, we do have a code as well, you know, like for a coupon. Mm -hmm. So for, you know, purchases over $50, you can get like 20, $22 to celebrate. SCCC22. So use the code yeah. SCCC22 to get your discount. The life size scale statue is not for sale yet. Yeah, not yet, unfortunately. But if you want to take a picture, you know, just come by and you know, you guys are more than welcome to see all of the statues, take a picture with the life sizes, and talk to us. You know, like we're here. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. I got some funny pictures with Thanos coming soon here. And Alexander, thank you so thank much you for your so time. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. And you guys, thanks for watching. Stay minty fresh. Peace. DJ Links.